Hi, welcome to another episode of Gardening with Peg. Today we're going to talk about planting up bulbs for spring splendor. October, November, and December are perfect times to plant bulbs. You can a lot of times pick up uh, packages of bulbs or you can buy them individually from your favorite local nursery. I like to plant bulbs both out in the garden and also in pots. When you plant them in pots, you will need potting soil and a pot. You don't put anything in the bottom for drainage. Don't put cracked up terracotta pots. You don't need anything in the bottom. You do, however, need a place to just set them aside and let them be through the winter. We're going to pot up um, the great big yellow daffodils that you see and they're, they're in the Narcissus family so they grow several to a bulb. This is the bottom part of the Narcissus bulb. You can even see where some of the old roots are. People dig these up um, at the end of the growing season um, after the foliage has gone back in to nourish the bulbs. If you get a squishy bulb, this one is squishy. It, it doesn't have any energy left so I would not use this you might take a chance and um, put it out in your garden and see what happens um, you can see on this one where it's actually two bulb two bulbs together so two flowers at least narcissus the other bulb that's excellent to plant is hyacinth there again it's got a bit of a pointy side and it's got the side where the roots were so flat bottom down pointy top up and um, what I like to do, and I will show you, we're going to layer them on top of each other. So we're going to do the, the, even though they're about the same size, we can do one and one on top. You could put snowdrops on top of that. Any little bulb that blooms in the spring or in the late winter, you could put on top of it. So it's fine to layer the bulbs into a pot. The real thing to remember is however tall the bulb is, you need at least two times that soil on top of it. So that would be one times the soil and then that would be two times the soil. So think three bulbs deep. So several inches to cover it up. Okay, we're gonna get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is put soil in the bottom of the pot. And um, quite a few bits of it. This is what the soil looks like. It's really well draining soil. Um, potting soil already has compost in it, so you don't want to mix a, you don't want to mix any compost in it. You want potting soil because that's how it will drain really well. Now, if you were doing it in your garden and you planted the bulbs directly in your garden, then you could put a little bit of compost over the top, like an inch maybe. But um, bulbs like good drainage and dryness, and compost is full of wonderful moisture. So this is potting soil. The daffodils get much taller than the hyacinths, so I filled the pot not quite half full, and then I'm going to just put a whole bunch of daffodil bulbs in here. Remember, pointy side up, root side down. I'm just going to stick them with their butts down, heads pointing up. So if you see, they're nested right into the soil and they're spaced to where there's about an inch or two between each bulb. That gives it room to plump up, make all of its wonderful greenery, make all its flowers, and so you, you give it room. I think I'm gonna stick one more in though. I see a good hole. Okay, so that's the first layer. That's your daffodils. And then I'm gonna put two bulbs worth of soil over the top of it. Okay, so there's what it'll look like when you put the rest on, you know, another layer on top. Now, um, it's really not quite two bulbs worth. That's what it would be, two bulbs worth if you were only doing daffodils. But I'm layering it, so I wanted to leave 
two more bulbs worth. So I put the hyacinth in and, you know, to nestle it in, I'll show you. And then put the rest of the soil on top. If you accidentally get the bulbs too deep, don't freak out because as long as you have it in a place that's got good drainage, the bulbs kind of wiggle their way up, especially tulips. Tulips are wonderful to pot up this way. Um, I really like species tulips because they come back every year, but the regular tulips, the big, huge ones that you see, they'll come back maybe one or two more years. Here's, here's the hyacinth. I'm going to put it, put those in the exact same way I did the daffodils, just the same. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So by now you should know flat side down, pointy side up, and here's what the hyacinths look like, tucked in right on top of the daffodils, and, um, one or two layers of soil in between the two types of bulbs, okay? And the last thing we're going to do is cover it all up. Now, if you wanted to, you could um, put like um, some pansies even on top of this because the pansies will die back as the temperatures start warming up and the, um, by that time the daffodils and the hyacinths will be coming up. And that's all there is. Easy peasy. So today we planted daffodils and hyacinths. They're all nestled in for the winter. We'll put them in a place that doesn't get overly soaking wet all winter long, but good, good drainage. Um, you can actually force bulbs in your house. You could pot them up in potting soil and put them in a cool place, like out in the garage for six weeks or so, then bring them inside where it's warm and they might, in fact, they probably will, grow for you indoors. And um, you can also put a hyacinth in a, in a special vase where its top part stays above the water, but the bottom part gets water. And um, it's very stunning. Happy gardening.